Bridgewater is a production of iHeartRadio, 3D Audio, and Grim and Mild from Aaron Mankey. For full exposure, listen with headphones. Listener discretion advised. And I'm trapped here. I've been trapped. The things are thinning out. It's it's opening again. <sighs> And I'm trapped here. I've been trapped. The things are thinning out. It's it's opening again. Oh, what are you trying to tell me, Thomas? Nana? Hey, morning, baby. What was that? Mm, just a message. Why did it sound like that? Hmm, bad connection, I guess. <laughs> Maybe it's that you've been using the same machine for like a hundred years. You really need to get a real phone, Anna. <laughs> okay, I have a real phone. Well, I mean like an iPhone or something. Ethan, I have a cell phone. It just doesn't work out here. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, okay. Did you sleep okay? Yeah, kinda. I don't know. This house kinda always freaks me out. It does? Uh, it's just so quiet. It's peaceful. I uh, guess. Well, plus you love the quiet. That's what camping is. Aren't you spending all of next weekend sleeping in the woods? Forest quiet is way different than house quiet. Got it. Hiking was fun though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can, can we go home now? Uh, of course. I just wanted to say thank you uh, for agreeing to do this, and I'm, um, I'm sorry about yesterday. No, I'm sorry. Should never have snapped at you like that. It's just, um, I don't know, I guess it's been a very long, very strange week. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> I've had to think about so many things that I haven't thought about in years. It's jarring. I know, and I never meant to treat this all so callously. Y you know, finding your dad's badge, it, it just, it must have been traumatic, and, and I'm sorry for making it into fodder for work. It's so stupid. No, honestly, you didn't. It's, oh, I'm right there with you, really. It's opened up some interesting avenues, areas of research that we haven't been looking at before, and you're not wrong. A nonfiction book is probably going to be a lot more appealing to people if there's some kind of central story, you know? I don't know. At the very least, the police files are going to be very useful primary sources. Still, I I'm sorry for getting carried away. Honestly, I was just the same when I was your age. Fascinated and excited about the uncanniness of America. And you're not now? <laughs> no, I am. It's just... You know, you get old, some of the luster gets lost. I have to say, it's been nice to have someone to talk to about all of this, though. Honestly, thank you. Of course. Uh, I'm, I'm always here. You know. I appreciate that. I don't really have... Well, you know me. You know, I'm a consummate bachelor, so... But you have people to talk to. Like, um... You know, there's, uh... There's your mom. I'm sure she has a lot to say about all of this. Yeah. Not really. Not actually. We've just never... Never been that close. <laughs> I can't believe that I let you talk me into this on a Saturday. I just think that if we have an opportunity to find out about those symbols, then, you know... We know what they are. They're nonsense from a cult. Yeah, but, but if you figure out what it means, then we can find out where they're... Gathering? Yeah, it's really not the best name for a group, is it? 
No, not really. Although I wouldn't expect much from a group of people that believes there are spirits on the other side of some veil. I think you just offended anyone who believes in any religion. <laughs> well, uh, probably wouldn't be the first time. So how do you know this girl? This girl, uh, well, she goes to the college. Uh, we were in the same statistics class a few years ago. Um, I think she's a senior now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's a senior now. And she speaks Wapanak? Pretty sure, yeah. You're pretty sure? Well, <laughs> no, her dad is Wapanak, and I think she learned some when she was younger. She's really, really smart, and she seemed totally up to help us out, and I figured we could explain the whole thing in person, you know? Just really look at each other and just explain it. I see. Got it. Oh, here we are. Huh. What did you say her last name was? Why? God, uh, come in, come in, uh, out of the rain. Jeremy Bradshaw, as I live and breathe. <laughs> How have you been, Joe? Good, good. What the hell are you doing here? Well, um... Uh, Olivia said it might be okay if I came by. Oh, oh, I didn't realize she was dating anyone. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, uh, we're not, uh, no, we just, we went to college together. The college you teach at? Yes, yeah, and I, I never, I don't, I don't think I ever had Olivia as a student. So, what are you doing here? How do you two... Uh, well, it's a, it's a bit random, I know, but, um, <laughs> a Vip in here is my TA, and I'm working on, uh, a book about the Bridgewater Triangle. That's right. You're a folklore professor. Come on. Let's sit down. Uh, we wanted to ask Olivia about some Wampanoag symbols we found. Oh. Oh, yeah. Liv knows a little bit of the language. She's upstairs working. Let me go grab her. Please, sit down. Sit. Um, so you guys were friends in high school? No, no, um, I wouldn't say we were friends. Friend, friend might be putting it a little strong. Uh, Joe and I were, what do you guys call it? Uh, we were friend-to-me's, I think. I promise you, no one calls it that. <laughs> I love that you're training me to be cool, Vipin. Um, well, whatever you want to call it. I guess we were kind of school rivals. He got valedictorian over me, and then I scored better on the SATs. And then we both went to Harvard. Gotcha. One of those rivalries that never has a winner. Mm, I don't know. Joseph has a lovely wife and two kids and his big house. I, I, uh, I wouldn't say there wasn't a winner. She'll be down in a few. That girl works harder than anyone in the family. She's still a student, isn't she? Mm-hmm. But she also works freelance doing cybersecurity for some local businesses. <laughs> of course she does. It's very impressive. But how about you? You're uh, writing a book? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm about halfway through the manuscript. It's all about the legend and folklore of the Bridgewater Triangle. Oh, well... I would have thought you had a Wampanoag contact already if you're writing a book on the region. Oh, I do. You know, you should talk to Laird. She's my contact. <laughs> oh, of course. I should have never doubted your academic fastidiousness. So, what can Olivia do for you that Laird can't? Uh, do you recognize this rock? Should I recognize a rock? It's in Freetown Forest. Ah, uh, I don't spend much time there. Not since we were kids, anyway. Do you recognize any of the symbols on it? The the second photo right here is zoomed in. Uh, looks like maybe a word for water. And this might be sunrise or sunset. 
So it is in Wampanoag. I don't know. It's not any grammar structure I recognize, and it doesn't seem to be wholly accurate. But then again, I don't speak the language. No one does. Not really. Not until Laird started bringing it back, which again leads to the question, why are you here instead of talking to her? Well, this isn't really something that I wanted to bother her with. Why? Well, um, I guess it's not strictly speaking a scholarly pursuit. What's going on, Jeremy? Uh, <laughs> I, I know this is going to sound a little crazy, but I, we think that there might be a cult in the woods and that they're using these symbols to communicate with each other. <laughs> what? Have you heard of the gathering? No, I haven't. Well, that's, that's the name of the cult. Uh, these symbols have appeared near Assinet Ledge in the last few days, and we're just we're trying to figure out what they say. And you didn't want to show an actual linguist a bastardized version of her language that a bunch of cultists are using to talk to each other? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I don't blame you. The people that tell stories about the woods, that believe something mystical is there, half the time it's a bunch of white people taking our legends and turning them into ghost stories. Mm -hmm. Do you know why we even have any of our language left? Why didn't it die with the last native speaker 150 years ago? There's a Christian Bible written in Wampanoag. Colonizers wrote it so they could convert us to their religion, civilize us. Mm. Yikes. That sounds like the early settlers, all right. I'm assuming the gathering isn't a Native American group. No, no. Not, not that I know of. Well, then this looks like more of the same. Non-Native folks using our culture to promote their own. Well, I'm, I'm not advocating for it and uh, not trying to do any co-opting here. We're just trying to figure out what it says. But why... Joe, are you lecturing somebody on Algonquin history again? Oh. <clears throat> Jeremy. Hi, Shelley. Uh, I didn't know you were coming over. I would have... Um... Oh, God, no, no, no. I, I didn't know I was coming over either. I just dropped in unexpectedly. I'm so glad to see you, though. Yeah, me too. How long has it been? Uh, geez, five... five? years at least the last high school reunion probably right yeah yeah that's right so how are you i'm good i'm good um this is my ta vipin hi it's nice to meet you i went to college with your daughter ma'am oh how nice yeah i i didn't realize that professor bradshaw went to high school with her parents <laughs> only in a small town huh I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure Olivia's mentioned you. She just... Oh, I doubt it. I really doubt it. Oh, hey. Vipin, right? Yes. Liv, you remember Professor Bradshaw, don't you? Um... I'm not sure we ever met, actually. I, I went to high school with your dad. Cool. So, Vipin. Yeah, I'm Vipin. Vipin Karana from, uh... Yes, yeah, statistics, I know. Uh, also email yesterday. Right, right, from uh, yesterday. You still work at the college, right? Yeah, wow, yeah, I am actually Professor Bradshaw's TA. And you guys have some kind of project you want my help on? Yeah, if you have time to spare, we'd appreciate it. Sure, I can... Uh... Hello? Hey, we're all in here. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that you were having guests. We can... Mm -mm, no, it's all right, it's, it's just my mother. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. How was hiking? It was good. This is our youngest, Ethan. Nice to meet you, Ethan. Hi there. You ready for the big camping trip next weekend? Definitely. Nana didn't tell you any scary stories, did she? <laughs> no, Nana did not. Oh, this is my mother. And mom, this is... That's okay, Shelly. We already know each other. Bradshaw. Hey, Anne. You do? How? Oh, uh, well... Anne's been helping me with some uh, local research for my book. Crime statistics, paranormal reports, and uh, that sort of stuff. <laughs> right. 
Anne, hi. It's so nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. You must be Vipin. That's right. So that means you're Olivia's, uh... Grandmother. I can't believe you have grandkids. Well, no need to sound so surprised, Bradshaw. No, it's just... I thought you said you weren't good with kids. She's not. Well, listen, should we do this thing or what? What thing? We were hoping Olivia could help us translate some symbols. Would these happen to be the symbols you found on a rock near Asinet Ledge? Uh, yeah. Don't tell me that that's what you're doing here. I'm dropping off my grandson. Actually, kid, I was hoping you could help me with a little something. Is it weird? Isn't it always? Mom. Hmm? Oh, I'm just teasing, Shelly. I've put all that paranormal business behind me. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Counseling. As we begin to see the light at the end of the COVID tunnel, a lot of people are still feeling down and emotionally out of sorts. You may not feel depressed or at a total loss, but if you're feeling a bit off or your relationships are suffering, that could be a sign you should talk to somebody. And online therapy can help. BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. And BetterHelp counselors have a broad range of expertise, which might not be available in your area. Just fill out a questionnaire to help BetterHelp assess your needs and match you with your professional licensed therapist. You can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours and schedule secure weekly video, phone, or even live chat appointments. BetterHelp is committed to great matches, so it's easy and free to change therapists if needed. Plus, it's more convenient and more affordable than in-person therapy, and financial aid is available. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. Bridgewater is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy, and our listeners get 10% off their first month of online therapy at betterhelp.com slash bridgewater. That's betterhelp.com slash bridgewater. Get matched with a BetterHelp therapist and get started. So, you like computers, huh? Sorry? Just, uh, you've got a lot of computers. Uh, yeah, I'm a computer science major, remember? Right, right. Yeah, I'm more of a book guy myself. Mm, is that why you're carrying around actual photos? Yeah, I like to be able to mark them up. and. You know you can do that on your phone, right? So, what do you need Olivia's help with? Why the hell do you care? Well, I'm trying to actually find out real information and not dig up supernatural skeletons. Uh, neither am I. But explain to me why exactly petroglyphs carved this week would be good information for your history book. Because it shows the hold that these old legends have on this area's consciousness. The same could be said for Thomas's badge. A 40-year-old disappearance was able to catch the attention of the internet. A very tiny portion of the internet. Still, that's why I'm here. The Reddit post, I want to know who made it. What else they might know. You think they'd actually be useful? More useful than me. This isn't Wampanoag. It isn't? Not really. It's like whoever wrote it has seen some Wampanoag before, but is just doing it by memory. I'm not sure it really translates to anything. Your dad said that it... Um, uh, maybe said something about water or sunrise? Could be. Those symbols there could be for curtain and beginning, but it's not the actual Wampanoag language. It looks like it's taken from a couple different cultures, but I don't know. I'm not an expert, and whoever carved these clearly isn't either. On to what I know. You know, your dad was always good at computers, too. <laughs> he took it up before it was cool. Yeah, and he loves lording it over me, being the OG hacker. I don't want to go into cybersecurity like him, though. I thought that's what you were doing now. Yeah, just to pick up some extra cash. It's not long-term. May I ask, Olivia, what do you want to do? I don't know. Something more interesting. That's why I like helping Anne out with her weird little projects. So you're into this Bridgewater Triangle stuff like Anne? No, not really. At least not the weird old myths in this town that people use to create narratives about people like me. But internet myth? 
That's stuff I can get into. What's internet myth? Yeah, you know, Slender Man, Polybius. Oh, oh, the elevator game, Momo. I have no idea what you're saying. You have to keep up with the times, Bradshaw. Are you telling me that you know what Momo is? A half bird, half woman who tells you to kill yourself. Are you serious? Is she serious? The internet is a very dark place. Okay, the author of the Reddit post about your dad's badge is one Katie Franks. Oh, of course. Anyone know who that is? No, no idea. Is she local? Yep. Wait, you know her? Professor Bradshaw does. And you do too, Miss Becker. What? It's that hiker you scared with the missing friend. That, that's Katie Franks. Ah. Uh, yeah, it all makes sense now. Mike said that there was a frequent poster who had a partner on the force. What are you talking about? Officer Batista. What? Yeah, she came to me the other night to tell me about her girlfriend, Katie. And the symbols on the rock, she says it's some kind of communication for the cult, and it's a way that they tell each other where they're going to meet up. A cop is in a cult? Oh, we don't know. It's a cult. Well, it is a cult, but I don't think the cop is in it. It's her girlfriend. It's all very complicated. Katie Franks, the hiker. Right. Then why are you talking to me if you know someone who knows the code? No, no, Katie doesn't know the code. She's not in her circle. Ooh, that's creepy. Why didn't you call me? And this really isn't any of your business. I've been poring over the same files for the past 40 years, and this just gets dropped into your lap, and you don't even bother to tell me? I don't see why this is important to you. If the gathering is back, that's extremely important. You said they were harmless. That doesn't mean they're clueless. They could have information. Um, guys, this doesn't look very harmless to me. What is it? Uh, is that Katie's private email? Is that ethical? Is human sacrifice ethical? What? This isn't Katie's email. It's a protected account. What does that mean? It just means it's anonymous and really hard to trace the IP of. Anyone can buy one. They're not inherently suspicious. Mm, I think having an untraceable anonymous email is pretty suspicious. I have one. Why? But the point is, I went into Katie's email, scanned her contacts for addresses from certain email providers, ones that sell protected accounts, and found a sender who I think might be in the inner circle. This is their inbox. Wait, wait, so, so you did all of that just now? Yep. Wow. So, does that mean that you know who's in the inner circle now? No, but I think I know how you can find out. How? This email is talking about a meeting of the gathering, one that is preparing for the ultimate sacrifice. And you think that means human sacrifice? Kind of sounds like it, don't you think? But you know how people are on Reddit though, right? They talk a lot of crap. This isn't Reddit. This is several anonymous people communicating about meeting. There are specifics. What specifics? The meeting is happening in Hakamok Swamp. Tonight. It really is a small world, isn't it? <sighs> that is the ninth time you've said that in the past hour. It's just strange, that's all. It's strange that I have a family? Well... Okay, I don't spend as much time with them as I'd like. My daughter and I will. It's complicated. You and Olivia seem close, though. Mm, yeah, we've uh, come to an agreement. She's a real good kid. Smart as a whip, but unmotivated. I, I think it's because she's bored. I tried to give her projects. And hacking into a Reddit poster's private email is a productive project? It got us this far, didn't it? This far into what? We're grasping at straws. We're chasing down what's probably a group of benign weirdos. If you think they're so benign, then why all the nervous chatter? No, I'm not doing that. I don't do that. <laughs> right, okay. Your dad was the same way. When he wasn't sure what to expect, he'd just talk and talk and talk and talk, like controlling what he said meant that he'd be able to control everything else, too. I don't try to control everything. No, you just... Dedicate your entire profession to explaining the unexplainable because you hate being right. Just because I like being right doesn't mean I have control issues. I can't help that I'm right. 
Surely a professor of folklore understands that the truth is a matter of perspective. What, what, what does that even? Shh, 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 shh. Wait, do you hear that? It sounds like chanting. Come on. You think that's a gathering? I don't know, it's something. Oh! oh. Anne! Anne, are you all right? Oh, shit. Are you hurt? What, 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 what was that? Oh. oh, I have no idea. Knocked the wind out of me. Uh, was that a deer? What the? Oh, since when are there six foot tall deer? It was a person. What's that? Shh. They stopped. Quiet. There's somebody here. In here. Watch out! Come on, come on, we need to go now. We need to follow them. What? Anne! Honey, this way! How can you? I can't see a damn thing. Anne! Shit! Anne! Bridgewater was created by Aaron Mankey and written and directed by Lauren Shippen, with executive producers Aaron Mankey, Misha Collins, Matt Frederick, and Alex Williams. Supervising producer Trevor Young, editing and sound design by Trevor Young and Matt Stillo, and music by Chad Lawson. Starring Misha Collins as Jeremy Bradshaw, Melissa Ponzio as Ann Becker, Karin Sony as Vipin Karana, Lori Allen as Nancy Collins, Cheryl Umania as Officer Bautista, Victoria Grace as Katie Franks, Will Wheaton as Captain Haddock, Hillary Burton Morgan as Shelley Hoskins, Jonathan Joss as Joseph Hoskins, Sabra May as Olivia Hoskins, Samuel Marty as Ethan Hoskins, Kristen Bauer as Celeste, and Nathan Fillion as Thomas Bradshaw. With additional voice acting by Brigham Snow, Andrew Nowak, Julia Moritzawa, Jarvis Johnson, Anne Brielle Bresnan, Kristen DiMacurio, James Oliva, and Liran Amiel. Learn more about the show over at grimandmild.com slash Bridgewater. And find more podcasts from iHeartRadio on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. And as always, thanks for listening. <laughs> 